That woman just loaded up her cart and tried to walk right out of the store, right, without paying. And I'm saying winter is here, man. The economy's getting bad. And I pull that up because I just witnessed that myself, I want to say, two days ago. I was at Walmart. I seen some brother. He tried to walk right out the store. They was on his ass. And you know what I mean? People are doing what they got to do. I want to say it's going to get much worse before it get better. We ain't even past Christmas and shit yet. So probably going into 2023, it's going to be a rough one. Just want to get y'all take on things. What y'all take on where y'all see the economy heading? And have y'all seen any crazy stuff like this going on? Like people like stealing, stealing cars and robbing people, all kind of stuff going on. Yes. Yes. On the high level, on the highest level, because people have neglected this, this economic shit that's going on to where, they are so interested in all the bullshit. They ain't focused on working at all. They ain't focused on being sustained at all. Having a job that is cola that 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 uh that, that represents cola. You know the cost of living increases and things like that. So they're not able to sustain. You know more complainers and people are all out saying fuck it. They go steal. They go scam. This is the aftermath of a, of a horrible economy and people with PPP loans. I was happy for those people because they didn't have shit. Then when they got it, they blew it. So now that they blew all the shit, now they got to work and they taking away those extra pays and things like that. So it's back to the old school tactics from like 2007, 2008. If you don't know how to budget, you're going to get swallowed out here because there's no way a, 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 a man like me is able to drive a Tahoe with gas in it. And gas is $4. It's a $100 fill up. There has to be some money generated to do those things. And it's the economy. You can't complain about it. You got to work your ass off. It's about to get worse. They know what they're doing. They're sitting there watching us on Facebook, Twitter, and every other site going, oh, they want to cry on every time they get some money. So guess what they're doing? Raising everything up. Inflation, yeah. inflation, inflation. That's 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 the whole goal. They give it to you, they take it back away. And look at look at the jobs. They raise them too, along with everything else. Go buy a bag of chips, three dollars. A, a nice big size, stick your hand in that mug, and it's still air. <laughs> Open it, poof. Damn salt hits I mean, your ass. Last year turkey's three dollars a pound. This year turkey's six dollars a pound. I mean, Damn. inflation, brother. You know what I'm saying? Inflation is real. And you got, you know, how, how are you supposed to sustain a, 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 just the basics of living when your pay ain't going up? You put in, your, your boss is actually asking you to do twice as much as you did last year. Your pay stay the same, if not decrease. I know some employers who actually decrease pay. And then also, you still got to maintain the current bill that you was behind on going through last year. Now you're even more behind this year. You know what I mean? And, um, you know, you know, I, I learned a lesson a while ago. You know what I mean? Like, <clears throat> We rely so, so much on the system, you know, when we talk about this economic system, when we talk about our, our, our working career systems, like, you know, me working corporate years ago and, you know, I, I got pissed off one time. I'm like, yo, like, you know, my, my, my pay got messed up. I'm like, yo, what the hell? And then it got messed up again. I'm like, yo, what the hell? I got so pissed off. I went to the director's office. I started cussing her the hell out. Like, yo, what the fuck? My pay, this and that and the other. So I'm mad at them. And as soon as I walked out of the office, I really got mad at myself. I was mad at myself because I, I realized that I was relying on this company for my bread and butter versus relying on myself. And I feel like a lot of us, we rely too much on the system, whether, you know, going to the grocery store, what if that grocery store is completely burned down and the economic system crashed where that grocery store can't supply no more food. What you going to eat then? Do you know how to fish? Do you know how to hunt? So, you know, we rely too much on systems where we got to be uh, self-made in some areas and we can't be too reliant on any system whatsoever. In order to survive in the real world, you got to have certain tools and skills and you must at least know the basics to live in the rawest form of life by any means. I agree. You can't, you know, like you said, 
the infrastructure go down. A lot of people can't even hunt for, you know, it's all these deer around here, rabbit. The system crashed. Motherfucker couldn't even catch a, a deer or rabbit in their backyard. And we got to get more in tune, like you said, with that more survival instinct, especially for our culture, because it's lost. Yeah, and you I, know, it's just, uh, <laughs> we're going to see it, you know what I mean? Unfortunately, man, you know, the way the world is today, we're going to see more, uh, you know, and this is the time of season where you see already every year, Thanksgiving, Christmas, people call, uh, uh, houses getting broken into, cars getting broken into, People stealing gifts left and right, getting robbed left and right, cars getting st- uh, stolen. And uh, as the economy continues to either weakens or, or gets better, you know, you're going to see more of it. And I th- obviously, you know, at this point in time, the way inflation is going, all that money they're giving you, that you you paying it right back in a sense now with all, all this inflation. Inflation is designed to even out the playing field. It's designed to pretty much take out the money. It's, it's the squeezed out middle class, basically, from gaining higher classes and getting to that higher class at next level, in a sense, you know, keep the rich, rich and the pope, pope, middle class. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm considered middle class. I'm trying to squeeze our pockets because we the ones going to suffer the most. You know what I'm saying? We right there uh, easily on the verge of succeeding or failing one or the other. You're right. Real man. shit. You damn. Yeah, that's a real shit. Big nasty real shit. I feel like right now on the extreme level, any young adult needs to learn any on YouTube or any source of their phone. They need to learn how to budget real bad because when this shit with inflation included and on top of having a family and anything like that, you can't be out here going and eating premium steaks every damn day. You ain't got no fucking money and somebody go starve. You just ain't going to have it. Some things you have to do and sacrifice. And I'm glad I came from that era where I would, it, it don't necessarily mean a bad thing, but shit, we told you just can't come in here and have what you want. Not all the time, no. Nowadays, ain't nobody sacrificing anything. Everybody want to be fly and fit the norm. You can't fill your damn gas tank up to get to your job. Barely, barely working. Don't realize that in this economy, you need damn near a hundred thousand dollars or something close to it. You got to be working towards that. You can't even get off with the 30. Back in the day, you could 30 was cool. You need 50 or more, or you're gonna be screwed. And it's so here we are. Because you hit on something, you kept talking about people wanting to eat steaks every day, look good. That's scratching the surface. Premium stakes. <laughs> Let's call it what it is. Where are we at? We're on the precipice of what? Black Friday, Christmas shopping. And we talking about people need to Holy budget. Shit. Bunker down. Motherfuckers out here buying chitlins and shit. They getting ready to go Black Friday. Go buy motherfucking, spend thousands, liquidate all their assets. Here we go. PSA. Go ahead, Don't boy. do it. Stop. Stop. You want to save money? You want some black <laughs> you want some black Friday savings? Don't buy shit. You save all your bread. Don't buy nothing. Just sit there. And I don't know. Put your fucking hands in your pocket. Stop spending your bread, y'all poor. Stop. I mean, I think people have to, you know, at the end of the day, you do have to become unprogrammed from the system. We all grew up, you know, which how, how many of us did not have Christmas trees in our households when growing up? Huh, what you mean? <laughs> how, how many of us, when Christmas time came around, how many of us did not have Christmas trees in your house growing up? A couple times I did. Okay, a couple times. Okay. But we was poor, we was poor nigger, but we always had them up on Christmas tree. Hey, you, you got damn right. And that's that's my point. So we're gonna yeah, come up with that tree. Not, sure. You know, we we gonna come up with some gifts. Our bills and cars might be behind, but them gifts gonna be under the tree. You know what I mean? Yeah. And mm-hmm. I will say this. Ever since I, I became an adult. You know, and go to my household, same thing. You know, fucking poor. Didn't have no shit. I'm still living on White Street. You know, my dad, he tried to make it look like something that, you know what I mean? And what it is, it, it, you know what I mean? But he worked his ass off three or four different jobs to, to, to even make it look like what it was. But my point to that is, <clears throat> ever since I became an adult, I haven't really celebrated Christmas or Thanksgiving or any of those holidays. Like, I don't, I can tell you, I can't tell you how many times I bought my wife. I probably bought my wife. We've been together for 16 years. I probably bought her two gifts on Christmas ever in our whole entire. Thing you're living 
all been together. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, we don't buy Christmas trees. Honestly, I I don't I probably buy my my kids all the five gifts. You know what I'm saying? Like I'd rather mm-hmm. put money into their IRAs or, or something like that. Into they into the college funds or something yeah. like that. You know what I like mean? I like because we sound crazy. Also, they get all year round. Oh, Christmas for me is every day. I'm alive. What I got to complain about? I get to go out yeah, here and, they, and, and build get, my legacy. That's Christmas get, for me. They, they get they get gifts all year round. Absolutely, so, absolutely, hey. absolutely. So you know, I, I think people got to understand and learn. Like you know, every day is Christmas. Every day is Thanksgiving. Every day is your motherfucking birthday. You up? You get a chance to go hustle. Get your ass up and let's go get this bread. Let's go build this legacy. You know what I mean? Like that's what it's about. We got to unprogram ourselves from. Uh, living in this uh, 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 such a uh, fucking the society, man, of just always going after what they teach you to go after. All these damn, you, you, all you doing is supplying the goddamn system, economic system. Build yourself up. Worry about your foundation because you're going broke supplying these pockets over here. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you know, it just comes down to just being stronger than, than, than going along with just, oh, yeah, Christmas, Merry Christmas. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's great to buy gifts, but more so, I teach my kids, it's about enjoying your family time with your peoples. It's about enjoying one another. You know what I'm saying? That's what this is truly about. And obviously, you celebrate, you know, the meaning of it, but at the end of the day, learn the true meanings of the, what, what the shit you celebrate. And all this shit is purposely, it's a whole nother pro- type of programming from them where this shit is it, it, it's, it's different. You know what I mean? Like, so, you know, my look, my look on the holidays is I know my family. We do pretty much do the same thing for all of them. We buy a lot of food that we like to eat, and we sit around, you know, what I'm saying, talking, fellowshipping, and eating good food. But as far as gifts and shit like that, yeah, the, the kids definitely get get theirs little stuff here and there. But we make it a point, harp on it all damn day, whether it's Thanksgiving, you know, or you know, December twenty fifth. Like, you know, this ain't about no gifts. Like you said, Big Nash, I don't know when last time we really bought c- gifts for this Christmas time. You know, we do that shit all year round. But, but yeah, we all should just use holidays because holidays are usually when we got time off, paid or unpaid. Right. It's time to get together, you know. But, but to hell with, you know, this Americanized, Westernized reasons and fucking sick acid trips of these holidays. You know, so, that shit don't even make sense. You know, like seriously, like they like acid trips. Fucking Easter, you got rabbits looking for eggs. Like so it's wild. Let's go down this rabbit hole real quick. We wow. talk about talk about Black Friday, people spending money. A lot of times, like we said, we was poor, but it was always a Christmas tree. It was always gifts up under that tree, right? So you're like, we poor though. How in the hell is these things happening? So here we are. The piggyback off of this. How are these gifts getting under the tree? If we poor, right? A lot of times, mama might go out on Christmas Eve and come back Christmas Day and there's gifts up under that tree. As a kid, you don't know how the fuck them gifts got under the tree. But as a man, now we grown, you may have be the man who put the gifts under the tree. You know how this go now. you like, oh, fuck. That's how motherfuckers was getting gifts. There's some fucking shit going on. You shouldn't be selling your soul to do some of this shit, ladies. That's what I'm saying. You got to explain that it's not all about the gifts. Because if you told them how these gifts are getting under the tree, we might start going down the dark path yeah. and dark hole. Might not want them. I about promise you. Stay, stay home, mama. It, it's, uh, it's a lot of Mr. Charlie's out here. And Mr. Charlie is putting that money in a lot of hands. Don't blame Mr. Charlie because he's just a man. He is Facts. Facts. The gifts getting under the tree, God damn it. I think that. But look, I'm going to be honest. That's why I use the word budget a whole lot. A whole lot. You don't have to fucking die over this pagan holiday. That's what it is. Because America said it that way. It's a pagan holiday. Everybody want to go crazy. Let me go get all unlimited gifts. Post them on Facebook. I got the biggest damn, I got the most gifts in the biggest tree. But mind you, these mugs are skimming on a light bill. Shit about to get cut off. Gas bill outrageous. Don't got no goddamn go. credit. Kids walking around snipe nose and sick. Ain't got what they need. But on Christmas, everybody supposed to be happy. That's bullshit. 
for celebrating this shit like that. Black Friday, fuck that Friday shit, man. You do all that all year if you do what you need to do. But they, they so stuck on the importance of what that holiday thing is. I'm not saying don't celebrate. I'm not saying I can't tell you what to believe in. I can't. But when it boils down to it, at least do the right thing. I'm not, but hey, you got to sell your soul for this shit? It ain't worth it. So that's talk. a goddamn problem. That is a fucking problem. Excuse my language, but it's the truth. That's a problem. Because these kids, like, like McKenzie said, they can be getting IRAs and stuff like that, building wealth. They ain't got shit when they get 18. All those dumbass Christmases. Then you get the income tax and fuck that money up too. Man. Come on, man. Preach. Preach, It's man. the truth. And then they get mad. And, oh, I, I, no wonder your dumbass is struggling. You're trying to please the fucking horrible kid. They don't give a damn about that shit. They be wanting the box. They don't want that shit. Room full of fucking video games and toys and shit. It ain't worth all that. You gonna spend five, six, seven hundred dollars and don't talk about it and brag? Can't be on my budget system. Get the fuck away from me with that shit. Woo! Better go to the Salvation Army. They give I mean, it, it out. And don't get me wrong. Like if you got if you got the the proper fundings, and that's meaning like you know six months of 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 expenses caught up and paid up. And no, I'm not saying don't treat yourself because it's definitely uh, you know people die left and right every day. You don't know when you're gonna go out, so definitely reward yourself. But it, it, again, it's, it, it don't have to be <laughs> like Banger said these uh, pagan holidays, where you're going broke to try to fulfill others' needs, to where these people not may not even be appreciative of it. You know what I mean? Like you know, it's it's a it's a it's a it's a fact that when you give people things, they don't take care of it as if they bought it with their own their own money. You know what I'm saying? Like. They, you buy so much your own money, well, you're going to take a little extra care of it than if someone were to give you something. So, you know, don't go broke. Find, find a creative way to invest in somebody's life. You know, know that person and, and, and invest in something that this might trigger something bigger for them. They might start to learn how to invest properly in themselves. You know what I mean? So find a way to invest in people's lives is what it comes down to if you're going to, if you, if you want to put money somewhere, you know what I'm saying? 